Welcome in to Drew Silly Diamond for Thursday, October 24th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your picks are for tonight, for this weekend, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome in the comments below. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. It helps out the algorithm as we got all football coming your way. A three pack, two college, one NFL as we'll hit the Sun Belt ACC matchups in the college slate. And we got uh, the Minnesota Vikings and the L.A. Rams in the NFL. So going in order of kickoff, starting 7 p.m. Eastern time, nationally televised game, Georgia Southern and Old Dominion, the two top teams atop the Sun Belt standings coming in with each of them, interestingly enough, guys, winning last week as 10-point underdogs. So winning outright as double-digit dogs, now coming in short week Thursday night game, Georgia Southern, Breaking them down first, last week they beat JMU, James Madison, 28-14. So they covered the 10, obviously, winning by two touchdowns outright. And they were minus four in turnovers. Man, you don't see that very much, but it speaks to them playing dominating football. Their only losses are at Old Miss, and they lost to Boise State in a high-scoring matchup early in the season. In my opinion, this is head coach Clay Helton's strongest team in Statesboro. This team is pretty talented here. I wouldn't be surprised if they win the Sun Belt uh, Conference. Old Dominion on the other side, not necessarily a team I'm looking to go against. Of course, just last week beating Texas State outright as the 10-point dog. They've had a tough strength of schedule as well. They lost to, uh, what, South Carolina, Virginia Tech, East Carolina, and Coastal Carolina. So their losses, you know, respectable. They are 2-1 and one in conference. Again, I'm not looking to go up against ODU. I just think Georgia Southern's the much stronger team here. So catching two and a half, that is the high water mark right now. I think the dogs barking here, guys. Georgia Southern plus two and a half to lead us off. Sun Belt action in the fun belt. We'll go 30 minutes later in the ACC conference. It's Syracuse in Pittsburgh. We are seeing 62, 62 and a half being the total. The Pitt Panthers, minus six or minus six and a hook as the home favorite, depending where you're shopping. Good matchup here in the ACC as Pitt comes in six and oh straight up. They've been money makers five and one against the spread. Syracuse five and one themselves. This should be a fun one on ESPN primetime game. Both teams off of a bye. So the short week here playing Thursday night football likely not to be a factor. Syracuse all time is 0 and 10. No, not all time, but last 10 times going into Pittsburgh. They've lost all 10. I don't know how much I bring that in. You know, just throwing it out there. An 0 and 10 trend is something to take notice of. It's not going to make or break the bet, though. Uh, last year, in, Syracuse won outright in Yankee Stadium. They won 28 13. They were kind of running that uh, wild card offense and caught Pittsburgh off uh, off balance. And but now having to go on the road, it could change things up a little bit. Actually, guys, sidewise, I think it's tough. I think Pitt wins, but I, de I don't want to be laying the points here to a pretty good Syracuse team. Instead, I'm looking at the total here. Prime time Thursday night, we get the number two passing offense and the number 12 passing offense in the country. Two good quarterbacks, Kyle McCord. We get uh, what Eli Holston going for uh, uh, both of these two quarterbacks. I think they're both going to be moving the ball, getting high pass yards here. Both pass defenses, uh, you know, have some shakiness to them. So overall, guys, 62 isn't that high of a total in modern day college football. We get good weather in uh, Pittsburgh projected. It looks like 60s, minimal wind. I go up and over 62. That's Syracuse and Pittsburgh Thursday night football. We're going on the over for the show, guys. We got one game left. In the NFL, Amazon Prime game, it's a good one. Reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. Anything is welcome there, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content the show. Uh, recap, we did take two losses, unfortunately, on the Tuesday show. Wednesday, I'm actually doing this as the games are going on, so it's into the overnight market. So uh, the recap here, 35 and 20 run. That's 64% over the last month or so. That's plus 12.72 units. We are counting in big. If we're laying a price, we're not just claiming the 64%. It is, uh, it is in the uh, plus 12 units, guys. So $100 better, up $1,272 in this run. So hopefully keep this 64% run going. Go 2-1, and one, if not 3-0. and oh. Let's hit the NFL game. Uh, the nightcap on the gridiron 
Amazon Prime, 8.15 p.m. Eastern start here. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the L.A. Rams. 48 being the total Vikings. Minus two in the hook or minus three. There is juice on that two and a hook at minus 120 at DraftKings. Minnesota comes in off of their first loss of the season. They're now five and one straight up and against the spread. They are two and oh on the road. The Rams come in two and four straight up and just one and five against the spread. They've been burning some money. They are, however, two and one at home straight up. I like the Vikings here, guys. I really do. I mean, off the first loss, I, I'm thinking they bounce back short week, don't have to wait long. And it was a close game against a good Detroit Lions team. Um, they've got great run defense. They got 24 sacks. Talking about their defensive front, their quarterback, Darnold. Man, what a resurgence he's had. 67% on the year, 12 to 5 touchdown to inter interception ratio. And just last week, had 81% completions against Detroit in the close loss. And when you compare that to Matt Stafford, yeah, he's like the bigger name or whatnot, but he just had 154 yards last week. This Rams team's kind of beat up. They might get Cooper Cup back, but you know, is he really going to be 100% off a short week in which he did not play on Sunday? I wouldn't count on that. And the Rams defense, I mean, they're last in the NFL in terms of yards per completion. So I think the Vikings are going to be able to uh, move the football here. And guys, also kind of the overall metrics of Thursday night football. Sometimes I think it gets out of, you know, out of whack a little bit. Really Thursday road road teams, the, the road team has covered the last three by 25 points against the spread the last three Thursdays in NFL. And that's 25 ATS points, not only winning the game, it's against what the odds makers have priced them at. And Thursday road teams since 2019 are 39 and 22. That's 64% against the spread. So short week with travel, it really hasn't mean that much in the NFL. These uh, you know, it, these these guys are traveling like in class. This isn't a spirit uh, spirit flight cross country type deal. You know, Frontier Airlines. No, we got to remember this is the NFL. I, I, I really think it's a little bit overrated. I do, guys. So all of that put in. I think Minnesota is the better team. That's the main part of the handicap. And we can get them two and a half minus 120 at DraftKings right now. Now, three is the consensus line. Obviously, two and a hook, a lot better number, guys. Um, that's the way I would go here. Vikings, low watermark, minus two and a half, minus 120. In recap, we got the over in the Syracuse Pitt ACC game and Georgia Southern plus the two and a hook over Old Dominion. Drew Martin checking out for Thursday's show. We'll be back with Friday. Got a bunch of Friday night lights coming your way, Saturday and Sunday show on deck. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets, guys. Thanks for tuning in.